just doing some work for this company and so I've been just walking around and I found so many really cool spots and that reminds me of this idea that I've been having for the last couple of months and that's like that type of Wes Anderson type of style so in today's video we can talk about a couple of techniques that we could use if we want to recreate this Wes Anderson type of film so let's get into it so there are certain things that we have to take into account before taking our photo while we're taking our photo and once we start editing it so before we take the photo, let's start with a simple thing, perspective. Wes Anderson is very known for shooting very, very frontal angles. And also his composition is just immaculate. Everything is aligned perfectly with the grid. So in my opinion, the second thing that is very important before we actually take the photo is to find certain type of color complementaries in our composition. Maybe your location's got some blues and some yellows or just a color palette that looks pleasing to the eye. This is one of Wes Anderson's biggest tricks. So let's just take that into account as well. So let's say that you found your perfect location. You found the perfect spot. Color palette is just perfect. Let's talk about composition. Combined with his use of colors, Wes Anderson is really known for his immaculate composition. So by that I mean most of the cameras nowadays have a grid. So a grid is something like this. So this is exactly what you need to make your composition perfect. If you're advanced, you definitely know this, but if you're not, there's this technique called the rule of thirds. So pretty what, what it means is like everything has to be here, here, and here. And that is going to create a more appealing composition. So if you want to bring the viewer's attention towards a certain point, you can use a couple of things. The first thing would be bring it relatively big right in the middle. Or the second thing is, of course, you can just use the points where your grids are meeting. And that is a very simple and easy thing to remember to improve our composition. Now, let's talk about post-production. The first step is going to be your color palette. Quite often, Anderson uses this technique called orange and teal. The second thing is going to be perspective correction. This is probably the most important one because this is going to give us like the perfect lines that he's very famous for. And the third and last thing is going to be just cropping the image to get the perfect composition that we want. So let me show you what I'm talking about in the computer. I took this photo right here a couple of days ago and as you can see like the color palette works really really well because you've got like your yellows You've got, you've got your blues, and as well, we've got a lot of straight lines, which makes it a little bit easy when it comes to correcting the perspective. So let's just bring this one. I already have it on, uh, on Capture One. That's the one we're going to be using today. But you can definitely apply the same principles if you're using Lightroom or even Photoshop. So this is already here. The first thing I'm going to do is fix the colors. Come to my teal section right here. I'm gonna bring it a little bit up and I'm going to be the hue rotation towards the left. So you want to come to that aqua type of, um, of color. I'm gonna bring my blues, I give it a little bit of a boost and also bring, bring it towards the left. And that is going to eliminate all that ugly um, purple that we don't need. So once we've got this, I'm gonna go to my yellow part and the hue and saturation part, I'm going to bring it towards the red part and that is going to bring it a nice orangey tone. So just with a couple of clicks we've created some color contrast so I'm quite happy with this. So the next step is going to be the fix the perspective. So for that I'm going to go here and I'm going to use the keystone tool. Uh, with Lightroom this is definitely easy you just go to fix perspective and that is actually rather simple. So here all I want to make sure is that my lines are all straight. Um, this is going to depend again on the software you're using and the type of photo you took. So all I want to make sure is that all my lines are straight because I took the photo from below. So you've got like that, you know, open perspective. So once I hit apply, I'm going to get something like this. In my opinion, like we are on the right direction, but we're not quite there yet. By using our crop tool, we're going to get this grid and now we can bring everything to the perfect composition. So I want this to be right in the middle, somewhere around there. So if you prefer as well, you can even just create a, a little bit of a different crop and you can go, for example, with a, with a square crop. So something like this, looks kind of nice. And there you go, something like this, in my opinion, looks really, 
appealing and, and this is a photo that I would say is very Wes Anderson inspired. And of course the whole idea of this is not to for you to go outside and just like try to recreate a hundred percent. I think as photographers and just creators in general like we we have to absorb different types of methods and styles and all of those things and like after some time like we develop our own thing. But I think it's so important to just go and test and try and you know just to create our own path. So in my opinion, exploring Wes Anderson's territory has a lot to offer to us creatives. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you go bananas on the like button over there. Subscribe on this corner right here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!